Hi, this is Dr. Moritz on Civilized Vitality. Uh, today we're going to talk about hygiene number one uh, and most of the first steps are the number ones in our five areas of uh, health and wellness advice. Number one is something that is uh, vital, so pertaining to life. For hygiene, number one is daily sun and weather exposure is vital. Okay, you have to do that every day. Uh, it's one of the foundations of your basic hygienic health uh, or the uh, health and wellness, the way your body maintains or restores itself. Remember mainly that the human body has uh, developed and is um, evolved or made to uh, interact with weather on a daily basis, not hiding out in uh, weather controlled, uh, air conditioned, uh, temperature regulated uh, rooms or inside all the day. We're supposed to be out in nature uh, all day long with several things, um, varying degrees of moisture or humidity in the air. Uh, barometric pressures up and down, um, precipitation, temperature fluctuation is a big one, and the amount of wind that actually is making physical contact with our bodies or influencing us just with its background noise and the different odors and things it brings us, um, and uh, sun. So some of the big benefits of being outside uh, is, of course, the sun, wind, the amount of humidity, uh, or precipitation in the air, let's just say uh, rain, right? The uh, temperature fluctuations and uh, barometric fluctuations. So these things are, in, are, are some of the, like the five main variables that change when you're outside. Uh, and, and you're gonna get a lot of benefit from these. The physical contact of the wind on your skin can cause us to change position or move about a little bit. Uh, but the big one, of course, is the sun, okay? The sun is going to lead mainly to a lot of vitamin D production. Uh, some of the other things it does, vitamin D is a pre-pro hormone. It's not necessarily a vitamin, um, strictly speaking. But it's, it's vital in many, many, many of your metabolic, if not all of your metabolic processes and physiological health is a good dose of vitamin D. Uh, depending on um, your skin tone, ranging from African American dark to light skinned uh, Caucasian, uh, depending on the amount of melanin it, that's exposed in your skin will determine how much direct sunlight you need during the day. Sometimes they say as little as 15 or 20 minutes. We're going to recommend for hygiene number one, your daily sun and weather exposure, minimum 60 minutes a day. And that's in all weather, every day, 365 days a year. Now, this is Michigan. We're up here. Um, gets, it gets a little chilly in the winter. Let's say it's January 5th. It's a balmy 10 below. Um, we only have five hours of daylight. So you got to maximize that. If you can get the entire hour when you're outside all at once, that's great uh, for building up some durability. Uh, but if you have to break that off in 10, 15 minute snacks throughout the day, you need to get at least a, an hour a day outside. Um, even if that's just sitting out on the porch or sitting in the sun or like I, I combine this with my daily walk. So I get my uh, half an hour in or an hour minimum, hour and a half. The more time spent outside, the better. Uh, the sunlight, if you can do that in the sun sunlight when you're getting direct sun, that's best because of vitamin D production. Um, Regular and consistent exposure, daily exposure outside to the, the, uh, the wind and these other variables and the sun are going to help regulate your melatonin levels, help you sleep better, keep you more in touch with your circadian rhythms. Um, studies have shown regular sunlight exposure helps you lose weight and maintain a healthy weight. Uh, there's just no end of benefit to being out in the sun and the weather every day. Uh, there might be some naysayers or internet trolls that will jump on this right away and say the, the negative aspect of being out in the sun all the time. I'm not going to address that in this video. I wouldn't worry about the, the, the sun um, killing you as long as you take some, some uh, basic precautions. You get out there, what you want to do is avoid repeated cycles of burn and fade, burn and fade. That's what stresses your skin cells out combined with the uh, standard American diet, acronym being SAD, which is appropriate, uh, and all those chemicals in your body. Maybe the sunlight does something and causes melanomas and, and skin cancers if the chemicals it has to work with are slushies and Big Macs and other shit like that. If you're eating good, healthy food, human beings have been in the sun since the beginning, um, and it hasn't overtaken and killed us all, all yet. So maybe 
the skin uh, skin care and sunscreen industry may have uh, overblown the, the dangers of the sun to sell more product. I don't know about YouTube algorithms uh, censoring this if I say that it's not dangerous to be out in the sun, but that is what I'm saying. Daily sun and weather exposure is vital. Get 60 minutes a day and see if your health improves and you sleep better um, and other benefits that have come about. So it's just sort of an overview video. We can go into this in more detail. Some of the, the meetings, the monthly meetings uh, or in the newsletter uh, or on the, the, the private playlist channels for members. So check those out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video and uh, check out the next one.